Having lost the political argument, leftists are desperately clinging to this idea that they have the monopoly on cool, and that no countercultural movement could ever be created by the right. In fact, I've never seen so many members of the lefty Twitterati so triggered as when I tweeted, conservatism is the new counterculture. <laughs> so I tweeted it again, and again, and again. And again. I'm triggered. Seriously, I know the word triggered gets overused now, but this was a deluge of butthurt. What are they so afraid of? Well, as Breitbart said, politics is downstream from culture. Most young people who aren't paying attention to the news get their opinions from celebrities. Hollywood and the entertainment industry viciously polices the boundaries of accepted opinion so that anyone who strays from the leftist orthodoxy is ostracized and excommunicated. They're all for diversity until it comes to diversity of thought. And that's why celebrities are so fucking boring. None of them dare express an original opinion. Because if they did, they'd be hounded out of a career by their intolerant peers. I mean, look at Eminem. He used to be happy to offend absolutely everyone. Christians, lesbians, feminists, the gay lobby. Now he's calling Donald Trump a bitch. Oh, how daring. That's so controversial. I mean, it's not like every other virtue signaling twat in Hollywood and the music industry is doing exactly the same thing, is it? But the left is starting to lose their omnipotent control of counterculture. Why? Well, counterculture used to be intrinsically leftist because the right had political power. It was a natural counterbalance. But up until very recently, the right had been getting its ass kicked in the culture war for decades. So now we have a whole new generation emerging who have no memory whatsoever of the right being in political power or having any dominance in the culture war. All they've experienced is the left's total domination of the culture war and their intellectual intolerance of anyone who goes against the grain. So for teenagers and 20-somethings, all they've ever known is having dominant culture fed to them by the left. So it comes down to this. You can't be the dominant culture and the counterculture. That's why conservatism, or a particular brand of it, is becoming the new counterculture. It's a natural progression. And you can see this new phenomenon beginning to emerge when you look at Generation Z. Teenagers born after the year 2000 are the most conservative generation since World War II. 14% of 14 and 15 year olds said they had a conservative outlook, compared to 2% of millennials and just 1% of Gen Xers. That's a huge difference and it's only going to grow. We're red pilling Generation Z. The tsunami of positive messages I get from teenagers every single day telling me about how it was my videos that turned them from being a social justice warrior, a Black Lives Matter supporter, to becoming a conservative is staggering. They're sick to the back teeth of being forced to sit in classes about gender studies or colonialism and browbeaten about their original sin of being male, being white, or being a westerner. Young people are rebelling against this stifling safe space trigger warning PC attitude in droves. Conservatism is the new counterculture. Why? Because progressives are the new Puritans, they're completely joyless and authoritarian. In the 1970s, the Christian right protested to try and shut down Sex Pistols concerts. They called on radio stations, venues and TV networks to no-platform the Pistols because they found them offensive. No, no. What was the rude word? Shit. In 2017, it's the politically correct obsessed left that campaigns and riots to no platform and shut down conservatives for being offensive. The right-wing temper tantrum over the Sex Pistols back in the 70s only made the Pistols more taboo, more avant-garde, and therefore more counterculture. And we're seeing the same effect now, only in reverse. What happened after the Berkeley riots? Milo's book sales surged by over 12,000%, with the book having already skyrocketed to number one on Amazon because the left had a temper tantrum. Your joyless, censorious, puritanical persecution of Milo is exactly what's turned him into a complete rock star. After his Twitter ban, Milo became more counterculture than ever before. Because Silicon Valley doesn't represent the counterculture. It's been in place so long now that it's the new establishment. Conservatism is the new punk rock. And you've only got yourselves to blame 
You complete idiots. And obviously I don't mean conservatism like Mitch McConnell conservatism. I'm not talking about old establishment Republicans. If you prefer, you can think of it as cultural libertarianism. But whatever you want to call it, this is the new counterculture. Everything that the left had has gone completely stagnant. This is the only countercultural movement that's definable, that's going anywhere, that resonates with anyone. And that's why the regressive left is terrified. Oh yeah, and don't come at me with a bunch of obscure movements within music or popular culture to try and debunk me, okay? Barely anyone has ever heard of those movements. We're the ones who are resonating. The other thing is, I don't know what it is about this profile image, but it triggers the holy hell out of leftists. I was actually going to change it for 2017, but after I saw how much they can't stand it, I'm keeping it forever. I also made it more triggering by adding Trump and an executive order that says conservatism is the new counterculture. Your avatar versus what you really look like. Yeah, Superman versus Clark Kent. Oh yeah, and you look like this. When your dog is more attractive than you, probably wise to stop throwing stones from within that glass house. You want to talk about fake news? The state of your profile pic compared to what you actually look like. <laughs> Oh, so you really want to turn this into a beauty contest? Okay. So we've got the likes of Milo, Crowder, Lauren, Marion, Tomy, and yours truly. Who've you got? Michael Moore? <coughs> Lena Dunham? <coughs> Amy Schumer? <coughs> Madonna? <coughs> Cenk Uger? <coughs> yeah, good luck with that. Studies show that conservatives are more attractive. And that's another reason why we're taking over the counterculture. Because no matter how much you try and make it that way, being fat and ugly isn't cool. Studies also show that 92% of left-wing activists live with their parents and 90% are single. In other words, leftists are statistically far more likely to be complete losers who spend all day masturbating alone in their mom's basements. And that's not cool either. So when Generation Z sees smart, attractive, rebellious, daring, successful people pissing off the Puritans, pissing off the authoritarians at school who lecture them all day about what they can and can't say and how they should behave, obviously, they're naturally going to be drawn to us. That's why we're resonating so much with young people. That's why conservatism is the new punk rock. Conservatism is the new counterculture. Bing, 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 bing. I'm triggered. Click the link below to subscribe to the channel, and for more breaking news, go to Infowars.com.